In this tutorial, we're going to use Flash CS5. So let's create a new document in Flash CS5. And we could worry about the file size just to make it the same as the other, but it doesn't really matter. But we're going to start drawing basically the same sort of way. I'm going to draw my horizon line first, and then I'm going to use um, some snapping lines that kind of go in to where the um, actual endpoints are, which are going to be my uh, vanishing points. And one of the things that you might want to do in Flash is go ahead and, and lock that layer and make a new layer so that you can then draw your other objects on top. So pretty easy to do. Let's go to the line tool again. This time what I'm going to do is just change some properties about this line. And that way um, maybe this line will be a little bit nicer looking when I draw with it. So let's get to the line tool. I'm going to draw maybe a different color just to show that it's something different. So we're going to start drawing, draw a vertical line. Then what we want to do is snap to the outside point and then hold down the control key and move the original point to where it needs to snap. Snap to the end point, draw to the exterior point. Now I'm going to snap to one point and drag it out to the vanishing point and just keep on repeating this process. Now when it comes to doing the vertical ones, we don't really need to worry too much about wh where we go because we can just go right through them and that will create the vertical line. Now I did hold down the shift key, so let's do that again. So there's kind of my, my object that I've drawn. And now what we want to do is select the lines that are actually a part of this object. And that way we can isolate them away from the others just by changing maybe their strokes settings so that they're two. Or maybe we can even change the color so it's obvious they're different. Now we can remove the other lines just by double clicking on them. And we've easily removed all the other parts of the box that we don't need. Now just fill it with color. Pretty easy. Let's go to the fill color which is currently blue. And I'll choose fill. And maybe I'll go and choose a different color blue and fill the other side there. Now it's not perfect for cell shading because we really should make sure that we use the same value or hue of blue and then just change the value to a uh, little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Now if we're going to do a little bit more 3D looking box then we might want to draw one down here. Now I'm using the same uh, color so it's not a bad idea for me to um, go ahead and maybe make a new layer or at least take this object and make it a group that way we won't have anything intersect with it and if you want you can change your colors back to like the red lines for when you start anyway I'm gonna snap that down snap that up snap that over snap that up snap it over to there snap it across snap it to there snap it across make my vertical line make a line that snaps there and goes across, make my vertical line. And now what you want to be aware of here is you don't want to cross this line until you're ready. So I'm going to make sure that it's not going to cross that line until I drag it over to the actual horizon line. Now it has cut where it needs to. Now what we can do is of course select the lines that are part of this object. And that's just by holding the shift key, change their color settings, go back and select the originals and delete them just by double clicking on all of them. And then of course we can do our fills just like we did with the others. And once again, I am just choosing random colors. I'm not really trying to make sure that I use the exact right colors. There we go. So there are my three colors. Now one of the other things that we can do um, is we can make the outer lines thicker. So if we add, the, take the, the outer lines and make them a thicker stroke, and I'm going to make all my strokes black again, I'll make that four, and the ones on the inside are going to be only two, then that's a, a typical nice thing that we see for 3D drawings. And we do that for the other. Now what we can do is we're going to be ready to export these to Flash, I mean to Illustrator. So when we do that, let's do File, Export, Image, and we're going to choose what's called the Adobe FXG, which is the Adobe FX Exchange. And that Exchange file will be able to be opened in Illustrator very easily.